Hello, YouTube. I don't think I should put this on my Whatever. I'm gonna be taken off in a couple of seconds. Okay. You know how the magic bullet... Music bullet, sorry. I don't feel like editing this video. Anyways, uh, the music bullet, you know, the, the thing you go on TV, and then you see this thing, and you plug it into this thing, and it gives off sound. That actually works pretty good, because as a retardo battery inside it too. What you do... Well, not what you do. I have a great idea that I've been playing with for like the last two weeks. So, I have the amp kit that I've had for a little while on my iPod Touch. And you know what you do? If you connect them, it actually makes an extremely good practice amp. Yes, my Cookie Monster shirt. Okay, so, what you do? Make sure your thing is fully charged. This thing is only 15 bucks, by the way. You go on Walgreens and you buy it for 15 bucks. It's very good for what I'm about to do. Okay, you just connect it like this. And then you connect your guitar to it through this. No sexual innuendos here. Okay, and then what you do is if you have, of course, if you have the amp kit, you can have the amp kit app. Me, I have the amp kit plus app. No, 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 I have the, uh, I bought the amp kit. No, I downloaded amp kit, which was free, and then bought like a $20 package, the power pack. Because it came with the 5150 and everything, all those sort of modifications inside it. I feel kind of weird with like half of my head cut off and a thing. But here's, this is what we're talking about. Okay, so, connect amp kit to it. The iPod. See, look, it's loading. See, it loaded. And it's already on one of my favorite, one of the presets I made. I'm trying to make it sound like an RP500, but really doesn't want to work out as such because it's being lame. Okay, look, I'm going to turn it on. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm in open C, so we'll play around with that for a little bit. Hopefully the clarity on your side is actually good. So, oh. So anyways, um, yeah, pretty much you go and buy the app. I mean, it, for, this is for Apple users because Droid, they haven't gotten this done yet because the developers are lazy. I mean, come on, PV, really, why isn't your app on Droid yet? It's supposed to be on Droid. What the hell? You're leaving 80% of the phone fan base because there's no real reason to actually buy an iPhone now. But anyways, <sighs> iPod Touch. I don't think it matters whatever generation, just go buy one. If, I mean, this is for the people who have one, you know, already. And then this thing, 15 bucks, sounds amazing. It actually gets really loud. And then you can close it if you want less bass, open it if you want more bass. I open it because it sounds more like a tube amp with it open than closed. It, it just makes it sound like that. Um, the amp kit link is 20 bucks I believe the application with the stuff that I downloaded is another 20 bucks the iPod touch you could probably get for like $200 but I'm telling you if you need an RP 500 in your pocket eh, eh? <laughs> I mean granted the RP 500 I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now having an iPod touch for your guitar work I mean, it's not you can't use it literally for a I, I wouldn't use it for recording. You can. It's actually doable. But to be on the safe side, you should use dedicated equipment because, you know, someone's going to message you on your iPod Touch. If you're going to do that, just make sure you put on an airplane mode. 
anyways, this is Jordan Castro with, uh, you know, from Erratic Watcher. That's my, uh, account name on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash erratic watcher, no spaces. Yeah, not erotic. And Andrew, why'd you cut your hair? Okay, bye. <laughs>